Hello! Today we will talk about the Quaternary Period, but before we begin, let's review about the periods of the Cenozoic Era. The Cenozoic Era is composed of three major periods. The first of the three, the Paleogene Period, began 65.3 million years ago and ended 23.03 million years ago. It is in turn composed of three epochs. The first epoch is the Paleocene Epoch, followed by the Eocene Epoch, and lastly, the Oligocene Epoch. The second period is the Neogen Period, which began 23.03 million years ago and ended 2.58 million years ago. This is composed of the Miocene Epoch and the Pliocene Epoch. The last period is the Quaternary Period, which began 2.58 million years ago and is up to the present. This period is composed of the Pleistocene Epoch and the Holocene Epoch. Now, to proceed with the discussion. Pleistocene Epoch spanned from 2.58 million years ago to 11,700 years ago. During this period, continents are moving and drifting into their current positions. This is also the time when the most recent ice age occurred. Winters and summers exist that the variation in the temperature produced glacial advances because cooler summers didn't completely melt the snow. The glaciers covered huge parts of the planet Earth that the remains of glaciers can still be seen in some parts of the world including Greenland and Antarctica. During the Ice Age, Homo sapiens evolved and humans dominated Earth. Mosses, flowers, birds and mammals spread throughout the continents. Mammals such as saber-toothed cats and mammoths roamed the Earth during this period. Large mammals that once dominated Earth decreased in number and gone extinct because of harsh climate conditions. Some present-day mammals, like apes, deer, and bears, are also found during this period. Birds flourished too, including duck, geese, and hawks. Large birds with 25-foot wingspan are also present like the teratone birds. Reptiles also thrived such as crocodiles, lizards, turtles, and pythons. There were some conifers and broadleaf trees, grasses and flowers such as lilies and orchids scattered on Earth's continents. How come large Ice Age animals went to extinction at the end of this to see epic? Scientists hypothesized that it was caused by human overhunting or due to the climate change. Recent research suggests that it was because of a comet that wiped out the large animals away. This epoch have abundant Pleistocene fossils that are well preserved and can be dated precisely. They were studied to understand climates during this period and for future climate changes. After the mass extinction, it became the age of man and started Holocene Epoch. The Holocene Epoch is the current period of geologic time, also known as the Anthropogen Epoch because its primary characteristic is the global changes caused by human activity. The Holocene Epoch began 12,000 to 11,500 years ago at the close of the Paleolithic Ice Age and continues through today. As Earth entered a warming trend, the glaciers of the late Paleolithic retreated. Tundra gave way to forests. As the climate changed, the very large mammals that had adapted to extreme cold, like mammoth and woolly rhinoceros, became extinct. Humans, once dependent on these mega mammals for much of their food, switched to smaller game and increased their gathering of plant materials to supplement their diet. Evidence indicates that about 10,800 years ago, the climate underwent a sharp cold turn lasting for several years. The glaciers did not return, but game and plant materials would have been scarce. As temperatures began to rebound, human population began to increase and we began inventing the processes that would change the planet forever. Agriculture is one of the primary ways in which human activity has impacted the planet. By 8000 BC, the cultivation of wheat, barley, and other plants had spread from its origins in the Fertile Crescent through much of the Indo-European world. Domestication of sheep, goats, and cattle began at about the same time. The Holocene also encompasses the growth and impacts of the human species worldwide, including all its written history, development of major civilizations, and overall significant transition toward urban living in the present. Pressure from the human population has had far-reaching effects on the biodiversity of the planet. Earth has undergone at least five major mass extinction events, 
Times when at least 60% of extant genera became extinct within a span of no more than a few hundred thousand years. Most people are familiar with the last mass extinction that closed the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago and resulted in the extinction of the dinosaurs. Many scientists believe we are in the midst of a sixth mass extinction event caused by ourselves. Based on population numbers required to maintain genetic viability, it is estimated that as many as 30% of plant and animal species may become extinct within the next 100 years. Habitat destruction is a leading cause of species extinction today. We have also had significant impacts on the geophysical characteristics of Earth. Monoculture, devoting large tracts of land to single crops, has affected the composition and fertility of the soil in most arable parts of the world. This effect has been ameliorated by use of chemical fertilizers but has not been eliminated. Depletion of aquifers has reduced the availability of free fresh water. We base our division of geologic time in the evidence of changes in the life forms present on Earth in different times. In the past, global climate change has often been synchronous with mass extinction. Although there is some controversy about whether humans are part of the cause for the current global warming trend, there is no doubt that Earth is experiencing climate change. We may be nearing the end of the Holocene epoch. And that ends our discussion of Part 4. Geologic Timescale. Thank you for watching!